Ladies and gentlemen, your YouTuber will be with you shortly. Thank you and enjoy the show. So I was watching YouTube 13 years ago, looking for my first Godin guitar. I see this guy. Hey, watch me turn my guitar into a piano in three, two, one. I was so blown away. I was like, I gotta have that guitar. This is incredible. So right away, I got I got my first Godin Multiac Grand Concert SA. It's like it plays by itself. I'm not even doing an effort. It's amazing. I loved it and I still love it and it's still my main guitar. I reached out one of my instructors, a classical guitar instructor in Mexico, and I said, hey instructor, why do you have a multi-act ACS, like this one, when you're a classical guitar player and this other one, the multi-act grand concert, is meant for a classical guitar player because the neck is wider, is thicker. He said, the ACS is like an electric guitar. It's completely solid. The Grand Concert is semi-hollow. So this one, the ACS, has less risk of breaking if you're handling like the air airlines handle instruments. He said also for gigging a lot, it takes less space on a gig bag. It's more like a gigging instrument. And so that's the reason I got this one. Wow. So beautiful. So I used the ACS for a while, but I ended up going back to my grand concert. And I feel like the notes resonate longer because it's semi-hollow. That's one of the reasons. Another reason is because I really enjoy the feel of a wider neck. A lot of the music that I actually really enjoy playing is finger picking. <laughs> and I find it really comfortable to play finger picking guitar or classical guitar on a wider neck. Another reason why I like this guitar. I find that this other guitar, you don't see it as much. That's kind of a silly reason why I don't use it as much as this one. I mean, it is a beautiful instrument, definitely. But I like the way this contrasts, the background and whatever I'm wearing. It's just, I love it. Another reason why I prefer the Grand Concert is because if for some reason I'm completely unplugged, I can still hear it. Versus having a guitar that sounds just like an electric guitar unplugged. But again, they are different instruments and for different situations. The ACS is very comfortable when it comes to how thin it is. You put your arm right here, it's like, it's barely there, you know? So that, that's something very beautiful about the ACS. Also, if you're used to a lot of strumming or a lot of fingerstyle picking where you use your thumb, then it's a good instrument because it's thin, like most of the acoustic steel string guitars. And the fact that both of them can connect to a synthesizer is a win. Grand Concert SA. The SA stands for Synthesizer Access. So you can connect a different kind of cable. As you can see, I have both connected my standard quarter inch, and also a 13 pin connector. So it's basically like a MIDI cable. So it allows me to communicate with a synthesizer for it, so I can play and trigger so many sounds. I forget how many, but my favorite of all time is the saxophone. Another great thing about these guitars is their pickups. They're like six tiny pickups, basically, in order to use a synthesizer but it's super clear. Every note that you play on these guitars. You would think that the ACS is more feedback proof than the Grand Concert because of the fact that this is completely solid. But actually, I have played both of them with a band close to speakers at a high volume and I have never had feedback with either of them. There's something else that I haven't addressed and that's the fact that it doesn't have a hole. That's kind of like a bold move when it comes to design from Godin. 
because this is what you picture every time you think of a classical guitar, but this design is so unique that when you see one, you right away know it's a Godin guitar. They're about the same weight. I would say that the ACS Rosewood is a tiny bit heavier. So I have only the standard instrument cord plugged in and no effects. This is the dry signal coming out of the guitar. So you can compare. And if you add a tiny bit of reverb, this is what you end up with. To finish up this video, let me show you what happens when you have a Godin guitar, a synthesizer for guitar, and a loop station. The possibilities are endless. Thank you for watching guys, thank you for subscribing, check these guitars out if you get a chance, and I'll see you in the next video.